Today we're taking a look at Word Hero. And just to be clear about this, I use ChatGTP a lot, but I still use Word Hero as well. And I'll show you why in this video. If I scroll down all the way to the bottom to see the plans, the biggest difference among these three plans is you get more words per month, it goes from 20,000 to 50,000 to unlimited. You get access to all the same 70 writing tools, so there's 50 plus here, there's actually 70 now, and 100 plus languages. And then as you go up in tiers, you get access to the long form editor with two codes and Word Hero Chat, which is basically ChatGTP with three codes. So we're gonna check out all those things. And if you wanna dive right in and check out this deal on AppSumo, click the link in the description down below. It is an affiliate link. If you click through that link and purchase, I do get a commission from AppSumo, and thank you very much for that. Helps me keep making these videos for free on YouTube, but it does not make it more expensive for you if you click through that link. So it's a win-win for everybody. So if you do buy through that link, thank you very much. And now let's get on with the rest of this video. First, one code. So if I head over into Word Hero, this is what one code will get you all of these options here. You can think of these like ChatGTP prompts, which are designed to make your life easier and you work faster. The ones I use a lot are video descriptions, video ideas, and video titles. And I use some of the email stuff, I dabble with those, but those are the ones I use the most. And they're really easy to use. All you have to do is enter a short description. Their example is how to get started with Bitcoin trading. Let's use that. Then we have to give it a tone. Let's use excited and I click on write for me. And now it's gonna do write two options usually for video descriptions. For video titles, it does five. This depends on what kind of output you're looking for because they only have this real estate here. Whereas ChatGTP will keep on writing down the page as you probably know. If you like one of these, just click on it to copy it and you can paste it into whatever you want, into a spreadsheet, a Word doc, into YouTube, wherever you need it. If you don't like any of these results, you can click on write for me again. It'll generate new ones. You can also give it a thumbs up and a thumbs down if you don't like the output. You can also copy both. I wonder if that copies both. I'm not sure. That might copy everything you see. Whereas if you click on them individually, it copies individual ones. And you can favorite. And then if we choose a different option, for example, we go over to news paragraphs. It shows our results from the previous one in all of them. There might be a bug. I'm not sure. But when we generate new content, it'll take that away. So if we do that, keywords, Bitcoin trading, click on write content, and now it's gonna generate news paragraphs based on the data that we entered here. And this only has one output, as you see. If we go to video ideas, YouTube channel, this is not predefined by me. So the channel, Facebook Live, TikTok, or YouTube, that's defined by Word Hero. And here we have three options. for video titles, this one is pretty terrible. The other two are very long. TikTok might be a little more choppy, a little more uh, in your face and clickbaity, maybe. Yeah, they're much different for Bic for a TikTok, sorry. And Facebook Lives, see what that turns out. These are more like the titles you want, even on YouTube. The titles they generate for YouTube were way too long. So that's the video ideas. And then that is what you get with one code. You can filter based on these different topics. For easier access, you can also search for your most used ones. With two codes, we get access to the editor, which allows us to make long form content. If I come in here and add a title, let's use this, uh, six ways to increase revenue of your business. Let's say in your business. Now that we have our title in place in the long form editor, we have access to all 70 of those prompts that we saw before. If we click on writing tools, we see them all listed here. So you could go through and create your content using these over here. But that is not the promise of the long form editor in Word Hero. The promise is to make your writing easier and faster. So if I click right here, having only entered the title, and I click on this table looking icon here, this will generate a blog outline for this title or this topic or whatever you want to call this that you wrote up in the title field. Now we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight sections. Now, when we use the rocket, it allows us to write intro, an intro based on the title and up to seven paragraphs, seven section paragraphs for the section headers. So we have eight different sections. We'll probably have to go in and write the conclusion on our own. But if we highlight all those, which are automatically highlighted, by the way, once it's written, it highlights them automatically because it's going to assume that you want to click on the rocket. 
Then we click on the rocket and it's gonna write all the content for those sections that are right for up to, up to seven. So I'm gonna let this thing work and I will just fast forward the video as it's writing and you'll see the content being created on the screen in just a second. Now it's all done. It wrote content for all the sections except for the conclusion and it wrote quite a bit. If I was using ChatGTP, I'd have to continually egg it on. In fact, it would only really write for each of these sections one paragraph and it wouldn't be nearly as much content as this. It could get there, but it has to continually be coaxed along the way. Whereas Word Hero makes that pretty effortless. And if you find one of these sections is a little weak, a little thin, you can put your cursor somewhere like here and then click on this pencil icon, which is gonna allow you to write more or ask the AI to write more based on the previous certain number of characters. And it's kind of out in left field, SEO and social media marketing, I guess that's another way to increase revenue in your business, but it's kind of out of place. And so in this case, that didn't work out well, which is gonna happen. When you ask the AI writers to, to kind of guess what you want, it's not always gonna work out. Let's try it up here. The importance of business checking accounts. So that's not doing that great in this case, but often that is super helpful. Now for the, for the conclusion, it didn't generate anything. So I wanna generate my own by going to writing tools, typing in conclusion, blog conclusions, the description, I'm just going to put in the title. Helpful for the, for the tone, click on write for me. Then put my cursor down below the conclusion headline and I can click the arrow on any one of these and it just throws it right in there. Let's get rid of these extra carriage returns and you can define these headings as H2s. You can have H3s and H4s as well. You can bold, you can underline, you can italicize, basically, it's like a, um, a text editor. There we go. We can also add numbered and bulleted bullet points, and we can add links. If we wanna add links directly to the content in here, then we can just copy and paste it right into our word processor. But what you wanna do is proofread the content first and make sure it's correct. Fact check it, make sure it's all true to the best of your knowledge. That's how many words we came up with here. 1,286 words, that's pretty good. That's pretty good. And so this is with two codes. And before we move on, we're actually gonna use an AI detector to test this. So this one only allows 1500 characters from writer.com. I have to delete most of this. That's okay, it'll give us an idea. Let's analyze that text. The OpenAI text classifier doesn't have a character limit. So submit that. AI content detector from copy leaks also does not have a limit. So this one shows is 48% human generated, you should edit the text so it's less detectable as AI. This one says it's unlikely to be AI generated. And this one says all the highlighted red is probably AI according to this one. And it's a lot. So this one says mostly AI. Actually, the end did quite well, last few paragraphs. So when you use AI detectors, you're gonna come up with some saying it's AI and some not. But if you are concerned about that, if you were to go through and proofread this content and change it to your voice and add your knowledge to it and fact check it, and if there's any mistakes, you correct them, it will be less and less likely to be AI. Every word you edit makes it less likely that it was AI generated. So there's always that. So that's with two codes. Now the third code of Word Hero opens up the chat. And this is basically ChatGTP. Now I'm gonna type in here, our content's gone. So I'm gonna copy the title we used. If we go back to our editor to get the content, it's gone. You don't wanna click off your editor. This should load the previous saved version. Looks like I didn't save it. You do wanna make sure that you click the save button to save your document, which I didn't do. So it's gone, but the title's here. So I'll just use the title, go over to the chat and say, please write a blog post about the topic. And yes, I say please to the AI. Even though it's AI, I still feel you should use your manners. Just good manners. So here it says AI is typing, and this is what it came up with. This is, um, I believe it's the same headlines. Increase prices, expand your target audience, offer discounts and promotions, upsell, cross-sell, improve customer service, and invest in marketing. And our headlines before were analyze sales, invest in advertising, 
cut costs. These are different. So these are different headlines when you use the word hero chat, but it's a lot less words. Let's see how long this is. This is more of a chat GTP output. 230 words. Chat GTP often just says, here's one paragraph about it. Now you can go back and say, can you expand on all these points? So you can coax it along in ChatGTP to get more and more content. But the more you ask for it, the less accurate it becomes. But either way, you can ask it for more and more content. But with Word Hero, as we saw a minute ago, it wrote 1,200 and something words minus our conclusion, which we had to do manually using, I say manually in air quotes, using their blog conclusion prompt. But it, it created way more content using the title here, the, the clicking blog outline, then clicking blog paragraphs, it created way more content than the chat and then chat GTP. Just for fun, let's put this exact prompt into chat GTP. Paste that right in there. Let's see what chat GTP generates. There's also very little downtime in Word Hero. Whereas right now we're waiting for chat GTP because of high usage. I don't have the, the plus for chat GTP at the moment. I might upgrade to that at some point. But Word Hero, this waiting, as we're doing now, doesn't happen as often. You do have to wait a little bit for the start writing, but ChatGTP is often a lot more or a lot longer wait. So this is creating more content than the Word Hero chat section, but it's not as much as we're getting with the long form editor. Let's see how much content that is. How many words? 467. So this is a third of what we got from the Word Hero long form content but it's more than we got from the Word Hero chat, which was only 230, half of what we got from, from um, ChatGTP. And you can go in and you can say, can you expand each one of these topics and I'll give you more information. But it's a toss up. Which one's better? I don't know, it's a toss up. I really like Word Hero because of these pre-built prompts that we saw earlier. I really like the long form editor. It's so easy to use and I think it does a really good job. Whereas ChatGTP requires a lot of coaxing to get more content. You, know, you don't want to publish a blog post of only 400, 500 words. You want one of a thousand or more words. And Word Hero really delivers on that in a really easy way. As you saw, super easy, few clicks of a button, and it's going in and writing lots of content. So Word Hero, if you're interested in checking it out, there's a link in the description down below. It is an affiliate link. So if you click on that and end up buying, I will get a small commission that helps me keep making these videos for free for you and checking out the software so you don't have to buy it and try it out yourself. You can see how it works and how it looks and then decide if you want to check it out or not. So if you do purchase through that link, I really appreciate it. It really helps. And as far as the plans go, as I mentioned earlier, the extra tools come in as more codes are purchased. So plan one has just the 70 prompts that we saw at the beginning, just uh, these ones right here, the home section. And that is for $89. And then plan two for 178 gives you the long form editor. So it adds this little tab to your menu up here. And then for 267, it adds the chat. Whether or not the chat is super useful, I don't know yet, but it might be. It might be something, it's new, so they're developing it, but it might be something that turns into something awesome. And each of those plans also comes with more words. 20,000 words for plan one, 50,000 for plan two, and unlimited forever for plan three. So if you wanna check out Word Hero, just use the link in the description down below and give it a try. Next up, check out this playlist right here, which is all about AI tools on lifetime deal websites like AppSumo. So if you like AI tools and you like lifetime deals, this is the playlist for you. So check that out. And if you haven't done so yet, make sure to click subscribe and ring the bell so you don't miss any future videos. Until next time, my name is Bjorn from Limitless LTDs. Keep crushing it and I will see you in the next video.